Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning Lala. And we are so honored to welcome Dr. Ben Tele to the show. He is an amazing Beverly Hills board certified plastic surgeon. You've seen him Inside Edition, E Entertainment, NBC, and now on Good Morning Lala. La <laughs> <laughs> thanks for being with us, Dr. Oh, ben. Thanks for having me. So, some would consider you a magician, if you will. I mean, not only with plastic surgery, but you really have a great understanding of essential oils. I love oils, yeah. Tell us about that. <laughs> Well, uh, it actually, I got introduced to it through a patient years ago, and she couldn't use any, like, normal creams on her skin because they would irritate her. And she started using just this basic essential oil. I think it was argan oil at the time. And I was amazed at what it did for her skin. And, yeah, so I started looking into it more and more. And eventually, I think two years later, I came up with an oil that had 22 different essential oils in it and even one for like sunblock, sunblocking oil, oh, which wow. <laughs> yeah, so, has a lot of research went into it. Okay, so I have a question. So you do upper lips. I want to know, why do some women's lips look so amazing and some look like duck lips? Because why <laughs> <is> that? <laughs> that question's been burning so I've never done my lips, for a while. and I'm so, I look at these girls and I'm like, you do know that you look like a duck. Like, do you do you know that, right? Yeah, I mean, the amazing ones I, I did usually. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 yeah, it, it, it has to do with uh, technique and the product, so. The, you know, like the guns don't kill people, people kill people. It's mm -hmm. not like fillers make you look bad. It's the person injecting you. Mm -hmm. But then there's products like Juvederm, which is like the most popular of all lip fillers. But it's also, in my opinion, it's the worst. It's, it's the one that makes everybody look kind of ducky and migrates and moves. And, okay. Mm -hmm. What initially <clears throat> inspired you to become a doctor? Uh, earwax. Earwax? <laughs> yeah, so I was, uh, <laughs> That is not yeah. what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was five years old and uh, my pediatrician, at the time, Dr. Zlotnik in San Jose, he like pulled some wax out of my ear and I was a five-year-old looking at it and just fascinated. Yeah. And from that point, every time I saw him, I just had a connection with him and I always just wanted to be like him. Yeah. And then going through, I had a birthmark in my airway when I was a kid and I couldn't breathe and my parents took me to like, to priests and rabbis and yeah. everybody to try, try to figure out what was going on with me. And coincidentally, as I went through uh, all my training, I ended up becoming a birthmark specialist. Oh, wow. Yeah, coincidentally, wow. after doing my ear, nose, and throat, and then plastic surgery and all that. Wow, that's incredible. So, Dr. <laughs> ben, you work with some of the most incredible elite and celebrity. Are there some major transformations that you could share with us? Yeah, I mean, the the, the, the ones we've published are, are, are always nice. The simplest of all of them was probably Angie Everhart, and she had gone through a battle with thyroid cancer. And, um, redheads, their bodies don't really follow the rules of, you know, the rest of the world. So uh, when she had thyroid cancer, she got these huge weight changes. And actually, if you see her videos, she gained probably 150 pounds on Angie Everhart. And she oh. lost the weight and her face ended up becoming gaunt very quickly. So we lifted her um, to really re just reset everything back to how it was. Uh, the most, I'd say... Uh, a praise. The, the the one that everybody loves the most was Chris Jenner's sister, uh, Karen Houghton, and uh, we did a an, an aura lift on her, which is a type of facelift. And immediately within a month, uh, she looked like Chris, and the you know looked like she maybe lost 20 pounds off her face, and really contoured her nicely. Wow, what's been the most rewarding part of, of this whole journey for you, Dr. Ben? I mean, I just, I just love what I do. Uh, it gets tough at times because I work 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., but uh, I love what I do. I love cutting things and sewing things. And, <laughs> um, and I, I, I love when I get to see the before and after, and I, I'm impressed with what I did because I usually tell myself I'm terrible, I'm terrible. <laughs> like, That's good to hear, actually. That yeah, I'm very, it's, yeah. yeah it's, like a, it's a Jewish thing, I guess. Like <laughs> Self-deprecating. And um, at the end, I see these before and afters, and sometimes I admit to myself, I'm like, oh, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> so has anyone ever come to you where you're like, you have a problem with like an addiction to, to yeah. plastic surgery. How do you deal with that? Uh, you could be dismissive and just push them out of your practice because you don't want to deal with mm -hmm. them. But part of my job is to be a therapist. Yeah, um, right. If you're like yeah, a good sure. surgeon, mm -hmm. good plastic surgeon, especially, you have to be a good therapist. So I try to figure out what it is they're trying to achieve and if there's really something off about how they're going about they're like, it. They're like, I just want to look like my filter, doctor. We, yeah. They literally come in like that, right? Well, yeah. then you can send them home with Aurora Silk. Yeah. That's all you yeah. need to do. <laughs> Here, take the oil. <laughs> <laughs> Try these essential oils. So back to the essential oils, though. I mean, who can use them? Anybody. It's uh, it's one of the most benign type of oils that you can use. The only problem I've ever seen is one out of every like 100 people might get a pimple from it. But everybody else, it's actually a drying oil. Uh, it lightens the skin and brightens the skin, moisturizes it without making it look greasy. And when you 
you mean lightens the skin? What exactly does that do? Does that help with the hyperpigmentation? Because I know for myself, mm-hmm. I've got some sunspots and just a little bit of discoloration. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's not as aggressive as hydroquinone, retin-A, kojic acid. Uh, it is a little more gentle than that, but it does lighten the skin for pigmentation. If you use it over the course of, let's say, a year or so, your skin will just slowly get brighter and brighter. And it has, I added lavender oil in it, uh, calendula and tea tree oil. So when you sleep with it, you actually have like a nice calming uh, feeling from it. Fantastic. I love it. Sleep with purpose. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) What would you attribute your success to in a sort of medical profession? Pure luck. Pure, yeah. 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 You're so talented. (laughs) And you're very hardworking, though, but you'd still say that there was a luck factor there? Yeah, there's a there's a big luck factor. I mean, just being in Beverly Hills in the middle of everything. Uh, I was advised not to go to Beverly Hills because it's a shark tank, they say, and they say there's too many people there. But I find that's also where, you know, there's more people to learn from. There's more patients. So I came to Beverly Hills, and it usually takes about 10 years to get busy, and I got busy in about six months. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, and overflow busy. So I had to build an office very quickly. I had people waiting on the floor in the waiting room. It was pretty bad. Danny room only. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty that's impressive. That. Well, yeah. clearly you're not going to have regrets on your deathbed. So tell people where no. they can find and follow <laughs> you and work with you. So my, my website's beverlyhillscenter.com. That's a nice, easy one. No one can spell my last name. So <laughs> beverlyhillscenter.com. Uh, and then my Instagram is uh, probably the most popular. It's uh, Dr. Ben Tavley. Nice. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.